My grandfather. My grandfather is owner of Medical Sin Center. Since my childhood, I have been a frequent guest there. My attitude towards medicine is not only interest and passion. It is my life. It is the main goal of my life. I have got a lot of good memories connected with medicine, hospitals, medical centers, and even surgeries. I was only three years old when I first recall an anatomical doll, which I used to play while my granddad was on surgery. I think these are the best memories of my life. This happened when I was only three years old. I was really a kid, but with a great wish to become a doctor. Nowadays, I do my best to achieve all my goals. I'm a frequent guest in radiation oncology department, where I feel myself very comfortable. I can say that I'm in my shoes. I observe clinical trials that are conducted in this department and always try to keep in touch with patients, encourage them not to surrender this cruel <coughs> disease. The patients of this department, my grandmother and many others, inspired me to say that one day we will win the war. In the 21st century, the biggest problem for the world is to defeat oncological diseases. Partially, there are good results, but unfortunately, it is long until we will win the war. In general, if we look through the facts, we can say that if cancer is diagnosed on the first or second stage, doctors can save patient lives. I would like to point out the facts and you know, talk about the situation in our country, Georgia. Unfortunately, in most case, cases, cancer is diagnosed on the fourth and third, the third and fourth stage with fatal results. This happens because our citizens do not conduct preventive examinations such as whole body magnetic resonance imaging, mammography, reproductive organs, uh, and other or uh, organ systems preventive examinations. Uh, besides the fact that these uh, medical services are free in our country, a uh, patient visit doctor only in case if there are clinical evidences or they suffer from strong pain. They do not act in a proper way to be helped, but I don't think this is the only re reason why we lose the war against cancer. However, there are definitely cases when cancer can be cured after uh, several procedure a course of treatment. Of course, it, until uh, cancer decays, uh, patients have. But patients may know from the beginning that it's impossible to be cured and be desperate. But they have to acknowledge that there is a huge chance because nowadays medicine is developing very uh, fast and it improves daily. And it gives to such patients and uh, it stretches lifetime for such patients and with, uh, by means of palliative care they avoid, avoid horrible pain. The fragments of my life come to my mind. In 1990, my grandmother was diagnosed with fourth stage of cancer. Uh, doctors predicted her fatal. Uh, doctor pre pre predicted her fatal result even if she uh, followed the prescribed treatment. Of course, she followed the prescribed treatment, but she just ignored their words. Um, she has lived for 20 years. I know it seems unbelievable, but because of her whim and wish. She lived for so long and she bring up her children and grandchildren and work uh, very hard. Uh, I want to say that the result of the war depends a lot on the wish and tactic of a person. Just to compare, if Napoleon and Alexander the Great gave up after several not successful wars, how would they be able to rule the world? So if our society gives up, we will be defeated forever. What is very important is participation, collaboration, and sympathy. I would like to address everyone, doctors, nurses, patients who suffer from cancer, global citizens, and you. Do not be afraid that we cannot win the war today because we all are the soldiers who will win the war tomorrow. Thank you.